Welcome everybody back to the Dirty Balls podcast. It's been about 16 years since we've done this. Um, I don't have a one-star review game, even though it could have been so incredibly easy because you guys aren't even here with me. So I could just read it straight off my phone, but oh well. Today we're going to talk about, what are we talking Baseball. about? Baseball. Yeah. We're talking about the forest fires. Sorry, I got a schedule here. Um, with some fancy coupons on it. Uh, coupons, yeah, and daily promotions. So, what are we going to start with? What are we going to talk about first? Well, let's get the sad news out of the way. So, we recorded an end of year video, but we never uploaded it. I think you were yeah. sick, Jeremy, and just never got around to it. And Yep. I say I dropped the ball I, I just, on mine. And I was waiting on you and we just said screw it. But um there's the first one of the year. <laughs> Woo! Yep. So well and, and it's probably a good thing we didn't upload it because we were pretty ticked off and called out quite a few people. We talked yeah. some shit. Yeah. So but yeah, let's go ahead and get the bad news out of the way. You know, you know, Jennifer and I are a host family and everything, and I got some sad news. Uh, what was it, about two, two weeks ago? Friend of the podcast, yep. you know, family, Josh Advocate announced his retirement from baseball. I didn't even, you're dropping the bomb on me right now. I didn't even hear about well, that. That's because you're never in the damn group chat. The 108 chat, you're never in. I don't like yep. you know, Okay, now here's the thing about group chat. We can get and that thing about Josh was very sad, and I want to talk about it. But the thing about group chats is, I mute them until it's unless it's a game day because I don't need all those notifications all day. To be honest, we don't talk that much. But I still love y'all. We're all still family. We're all still friends. But I just, yeah, I just don't need all those notifications all day. And There's thank you all for doing that survey. Yes, there I is. Well, when he asked for that survey, you're welcome. Okay, back to the Josh thing. Um, yeah, he texted me the other night. He said, I retired today. And I text back, are you effing kidding me? And he said, no. And I kind of had a feeling why um, his shoulder's messing up again. So instead of, yeah. you know, going through Tommy John again and goodness gracious knows what, what would happen afterwards, he just decided to move on. Okay. He Hadn't he had that before? Yeah. Tommy John? Yeah. So, so that'd be a gamble at best. Yeah. And um, he just, like I said, didn't want to grind it out and take the chance of really screwing up and not be able to come back and do anything. So, but, Josh, I, I know you're not better, watching this. I guess it's better than to risk getting hurt a lot worse. Right. Yeah, but definitely. Josh is not going to watch this, but I'm going to let him know that, you know, he knows how we feel, you know, best of luck, wishing with everything that you do here on out, you know, and like I said, you know your family, even with these other people in this video here, we got you back, if you yeah, need uh -huh. anything ever, we're here, so I love you guy, and I'm definitely going to miss you, I was looking forward to seeing you soon, but Goodness gracious, only knows now, but we'll make it happen one day. So, but yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. So, all right, now let's switch gears and talk about something else. Jennifer went to the bedroom to eat. We just got home from the gym. So, all right. But. Well, um, I do have a one star review now that I mention it. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and do it and. This is going to be one of those cheeky little segue type ones that will end up having to something to do with the episode because I just wanted to do that. Okay, here we go. This is from Shannon Smith, a local guide with 16 reviews and nine photos. No, fuck, I'm not going to read that one. I'm going to read this one instead. This is from Scott Crawford. This is a better one. He's a local guide with 22 reviews. Sorry, Shannon, maybe next time. Four of five times I go, I get disappointed. 
I enjoy getting a frozen alcohol drink when at the ball game at the concession behind home plate. This, this, I'm not, this is exactly how he's writing it. It's either frozen up or not frozen at all. Well, the first one that would actually be good. He sounds like he's complaining about his frozen drink being frozen. The lady running that concession doesn't care. Just means she works less. Greensboro. Jeremy? Bowling Green. Bowling Green. No, it is the ballpark that we're going to be opening up our season in in a couple of days. Winston Salem. <laughs> it's Winston, and I agree 100% with the reviewer. That's <laughs> right. Suck. Although, technically, we're not open. I mean, we are opening the actual season in Winston, but, and I'm super excited about this. LR is going to be playing against the Crawdads as, as they do uh, every year or every so often. And I was super oh, really? disappointed about it because it was supposed to be tomorrow and I work on Tuesdays, but God himself knew that I wanted to be at that game. So he sent rain and made it on Wednesday instead, which is when I'll be free to go. Yeah, I just I I'm I'm like you. I'm excited about the game because you know LR is really good this year. They've only lost like five games all year, something like that, maybe less. So I think LR might have a shot at at beating the Crawdads. Granted, I haven't seen this year's Crawdads play, but I, I think it's going to be a good game either way. Well, that's fine. Let 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 them win. Because the last time we played LR and we lost, we ended up winning a championship. Yep. So. Oh, yeah, that, that, that did happen. And I was there for, uh, for the LR game and for the championship game. So today we're probably we're going to talk about the schedule, the promotions, and this year's roster. I have the roster pulled up. I do not have the promotions pulled up. So what do we want to start with? Well, let's go ahead and do the roster first. That way Jennifer can come back and yeah. we can use her phone for the expanded promotion. Because if you read what's on the schedule, you know, it tells you, but she can break it down or I can break it down a little bit better because this, the opening week, there's one game I'm really excited about. So we'll and, talk uh, about it a little bit. have to apologize for any uh, awkwardness from us doing our first ever Zoom podcast, uh, timing, the fact that we're not all right there next to each other, you know, some things just work better in person and the whole Zoom, I mean, I'm, I'm in, a, in a pantry surrounded by expired Pop-Tarts and salad dressing and, you know, some things just aren't going to be the same. But anyway, what is the same I, is that we have a beautiful roster to talk about. Okay, for one, let's go back to the, the whole Zoom thing. Um, I would like to say thank you to you guys for doing this. This is uh, in, in, in no small part to accommodate me. Because right now I can't go up and down steps very easily because of my foot. But hopefully here in about two weeks I'll be able to walk again. Well, I mean, I wanted to try this because it, it kind of sucks for you guys to drive all the way to my house. Especially I would have know, been I mean, a hicker today anyway, but yes. I mean, well, either way, both of you guys, it's about the same amount of time. It's like, what, a 30-minute drive? Mm -hmm. And there's no point y'all driving 8 o'clock at night, and we got to get up into work and go into work in the morning. So, But maybe yeah, we can get together on a, on a Saturday night or a Sunday night, you know, after the game and do it at the ballpark and whatnot. Yeah. But and if I, had I just wanted to try this to see what happens. All right. So – Roster right here on the handy dandy phone. This is the roster that is on the official website. There was one that was put out on Instagram the other day. That's not the one I have in front of me. So this one might be shorter or it might be longer. I don't know. I'm just reading what is on the website. So pitchers, we have Ben Anderson. Wait for it. Anderson, that's a wrestling reference. Gene Casanova, Sean Chandler. Joe Corbett, or Corbet, you know, if you want to get uh, 
Cajun about this. Ryan Garcia, Kevin Gowdy, Juan Mejia, Mejia, Spencer Moraz, Tristan Polly, Josh Smith, and Matt Wivinus or Wivinus. Anybody heard that before? No. There you go. Okay. Catchers. We have two of them listed on the website. Scott Capers and Connor Pioto. Infielders. We have Derwin Barreto, Franier Chavez, familiar name coming back. Jake Gunther, another from, uh, familiar name. Trevor Halver. Bretto. And uh, Bretto was here last year. What? Bretto was here last year. He was? was he? Uh, mm-hmm. Well, I did not go to many games last year. And Chris Cease, someone we also uh, remember from last year. And outfielders, this is the reason why I said that this is not that this is the one on the website, not the one from the other, because there's only one outfielder listed on the website. And that is Ryan Anderson. Wait for it. Anderson. And uh, so the coaching staff listed manager Carlos Cardoza, hitting coach Ryan Tuntland, pitching coach John Goble. Development coach, that is a name. Ka- Kawika Emsley Pie. His uh his little picture on the thing has him in a um what looks like a West Virginia power uh picture. So good to see that he found a job after that team uh doesn't exist anymore. And development coach Jay well, in a way. What was that? I said w- West Virginia still exists in a way. It's just now they're the Charleston Dirty Birds in independent league. Charleston Dirty Birds. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Okay, so that is Charleston the Virginia. listed roster from the website. Well, the, the website well, has left off a very big name. And who is that? I don't, that? Know how to, I don't know how to say his first name, but his last name we all know. Acuna. Is is there a little little tilde on the end or no? Because that would make a difference. Yeah, that's that's the younger brother. Yeah, oh, so it's Ronald's Acuna. Brother. Acuna. 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 Oh, Acuna. so you okay? Whatever. No, no. Hey, 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 hey. For me and you, it's whatever. Down there, it makes a big difference. Okay, look up. To, I'm not going to say what these mean on the podcast, but after the podcast is over, look up two sentences and translate them to English. Look out. I don't know what that was about. Say uh, Tango Trace Anos and Tango Trace Anos. Put the tilde on one of them and not tilde on the other one and see what happens. And then and then, yeah, and then say different. whatever. That's kind of like the difference between uh, Trevino and Trevino. Yeah, sure. That's a much less crude way of uh, making the comparison. Oh, anything that stands out besides the names that are coming back? Uh, of the managers, the only one I, I've heard of before was Carlos Cardoza. Because I don't know if Alan remembers it or not, but we actually met him, uh, what was it, uh, 2008, 2019? Yeah, whenever the pandemic hit. Yeah, it seems like it was, you know, 20 years ago. But uh, – he actually seems like a really cool guy because we met him at the Winter Caravan when they came to mm-hmm. Hickory. And me and Alan were talking out in the parking lot when it was over, and he came over to us and stood there and talked with us for, what, about 10 minutes? Yeah, 10, 15 about 10, minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, so he was, while, while I'm on the roster page, I got a couple of transactions here from former Crawdads. We have A.J. Alexi going to Round Rock. Nick Snyder going to Round Rock, and uh, Bubba Thompson going to Round Rock. Bubba Bombs in Round Rock. So that'll and be Sam Huff up. going to Round Rock. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. It was not listed on the. Those are the transactions listed for April. And then Avery. Oh, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Yeah, Zoom oh. people. This is Zoom. This is what Avery Weems, he's going to Frisco. So, Blaine, he's staying in Frisco. Blaine Krim, for because we didn't talk about nobody last year. Um, Blaine Krim, he's a super cool guy. I, I'm, I'm working on getting an interview with him. 
I got to know his parents. Um, him and Bubba actually played together when they were kids. And Bubba's mama reached out to me at the beginning of the season and asked me to take videos and send them to her so she could send to Blaine's parents because Blaine doesn't, her, his parents don't do social media. So I did. And then they came to a couple games and sat down with us and got to know the guy and super cool where he's the way he started. He's actually starting from the bottom. Didn't even think that he was going to get drafted. Wow. And gets drafted, you know, doesn't take a big pay or anything. Has a awesome year this, you know, past season with Hickory. Got to go to mm. Frisco, then went and played in Puerto Rico. Ends up winning the batting championship in Puerto Rico. Yeah, he was not so, – I didn't get to see any of those games, but I know at one point he was batting over 400. Yeah. I don't think he ended the season over 400, but I know at one point he was like 401, 402. Yeah, he was towards the end, up. he got kind of tired. So, but it's expected yeah. when you're 400. So, but yeah, yeah, that's that's a name to keep keep an eye on, guys. I mean, I promise you. Yeah. So, before we get to the uh, schedule and the promotions, the specific promotions. I got a list here of the daily promotions. They are the same as they always are, but if you need a reminder, that's what we're here to do. We got Dollar Dog Tuesday, where hot dogs are only $1, courtesy of Hebrew, Hebrew National. Uh, too bad we didn't get to upload that podcast that we did at the end of the year, because we had a whole, whole uh, hot yeah. dog segment. Uh, anyway, <laughs> grab a drink to go with that hot dog. Oh, wait. Grab a drink. To go with that hot dog, maybe a comma there, $2 craft beers thanks to Lowe's Foods and bring your dog to the game for only a dollar. Then kid, Kids Win Wednesday, where all kids 12 and under receive a free ticket, how it probably should be every day if you ask me. Free meal voucher yeah. and free bounce house, speed pitch and carousel voucher every Wednesday night game presented by Arby's. I already said the Arby's. I, I, just, I just gave Arby's two plugs. Thanks. Hit me up. Okay. Uh, Thirsty Thursday. Everybody has Thirsty Thursday. You know what that is already. Fireworks Thanks Friday. Gosh. Also, you know what that is. Post game Super Saturday. Super Saturday. I'm going to give that some, some um. Post game oh, concerts, of which I am only seeing two listed so far. Yeah, uh, Jersey, Jersey auctions. And awesome giveaways highlight Saturday games. And then Sundays is uh, Church Bulletin Sundays. Bring your church bulletin and receive a discounted $6 ticket. And the dads will donate $4 from each ticket to that church's, to that respective church from where you bring the bulletin from. And that's courtesy of Catawba Shoe Store. And then kids can run the bases after every game. And uh, it says, plus stick around on Fridays and Saturdays for post-game launch a ball, which is always a fun time for us that are sitting down there in the front couple of rows when we get to take about 60 tennis balls to the back of the head. Yeah, so take an umbrella, even if it's not going to rain. Yeah, you're in the splash zone if you're down by the, by the front couple of rows. So, so what was so super about Saturday? I don't know. They just needed a creative title with some alliteration. It just says post-game concerts, jersey auctions, and awesome giveaways. Oh, so those are all on Saturday? Mm -hmm. And yeah. once again, one more time, I will rant about how I do not like post-game concerts for the simple reason of them drawing people to the game that do not give a solitary ball about the game. Yeah. I mean, it's it's that's always going to happen, though. I always, every year, I say I'm going to do this, but I usually wind up going anyway. But it's bad enough that I feel like just skipping those games. I mean, I'm a season ticket holder, and ev everybody around me just like knows nothing about baseball, and they're just annoying as crap. <laughs> and and uh, I believe the, the, whole the game famous. Annoyed. I believe the famous line once was, uh, we'll go get some food at halftime. Yeah. That was on a concert night. 
The two concerts. No, that was actually. The two concerts listed are Love and the Outcome, which uh, hopefully Love is sick that night because I only like the Outcome, and Ryan Stevenson. I've never heard of both Ooh. of them. They're Christian singers. If you know them, then come I, out and I've see. I've heard of Love and the Outcome. I couldn't tell you what they sing, but I'm a big fan of the Outcome, not so much of Love. Oh, and I'm man. glad you mentioned season that you're a season ticket holder. And uh, I'll let you guys talk about this because I'm not a season ticket holder. They have done this year something very special and and custom done for the season ticket holders. And, oh, yeah. Uh, I'll let you guys talk about what that is and what the experience was like uh, seeing that in person. Well, I'll say this. If you're not a season ticket holder and you do come to a game, which I encourage, just don't sit in a seat that has – somebody's name on it because all the season ticket holders got a a plaque they, they called it it's really just a sticker but it's you know it's a pretty nice sticker um we all have a, a sticker with our name on it or whatever we wanted to have them put on it like me my name's jeremy i got moose put on it because my nickname has always been moose and yeah, my girlfriend Got FYB put on hers, and I won't tell you what that stands for. Oh, come um, on. The Y is for Yankee, because she is yep. from North, if I'm, if I'm correct about that. Damn yes. Yankees. <laughs> Especially the New York Yankees. Yeah. And the F and the B are yeah. some uh, naughty words. Yep. So you went to the ballpark and actually saw um, the, uh, the, the, saw it. So, uh, yes. yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, me, gimpy, crippled me, made it all the way down to my seat and <laughs> all the way back up. But it was pretty awesome. Oh, we have stalled enough, and Jennifer is finally back. Well, one thing, another thing about the tickets, um, they're doing <laughs> the veterans' tickets again this year. Show your ID, your military ID, and get two free tickets. So... Thank you, guys. Thanks again for doing that for us veterans. <laughs> yes, and to all the veterans, thank you for your service. So I guess uh, now that the main star is here. Oh, was I supposed to bring that other phone? Well, you can pull it up. Oh, on the cat. Phone. Yeah, yeah, the cat's already. The cat's the main star. So, so uh, but again, uh, the season starts. Uh, this this Friday, we're in Winston-Salem. We'll be playing them Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Again, this year, we're playing okay. Tuesday through Sunday, the, the same team, with Monday being an off day for travel. Now, unfortunately, I wanted to go to Winston-Salem, but I uh, have a very busy weekend and won't be able to because Friday, I have to work. I asked off for work on Friday, and... They said no, but nah, at least I asked. Uh, Saturday, I'll be in Martinsville. And Sunday, I'll be hungover from spending Saturday in Martinsville. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get about 15 hot dogs and 24 beers in me. And then, you know, all day Sunday, I'll be trying to not die from having consumed that much alcohol and red meat. Just remember, drink some water in with those beers and you'll be good. Yes. But speaking of Winston, I don't know if any of you saw this. Uh, starting this year, I believe, uh, they will no longer be taking cash for parking. They put a link to an app on their website. You have to download that app and pay for parking through the app. Yeah, they no, it's pretty much the same app that you use when you go to Charlotte. Anywhere you park in Charlotte now, you can use an app, which was great because we went two weeks ago for I'm, I'm, I've never driven there so I've always been riding with somebody else that was going well I wish I knew that, that that app existed when I went to Charlotte for the Charlotte FC game against Galaxy when there was 80 when there were 70,000 people and I had to park in a parking garage and it took me an hour and a half after the game to get out of the parking garage that would have that would have been easier with the app somehow anyway Promotions. 
So yeah, the promotions we start we open up on the twelfth of this month. So not this week, but next week against Bowling Green. And, the hot rod. and then we immediately have a day game at eleven a.m. the next day. Probably one of the education days. And it's an actually a llama day too with the new llama yes. hat. The new hat. Yeah. So opening night is Air Force night and magnet schedule giveaway. So, yay. So for like the first three weeks, they'll be handing out magnet schedules. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. So the 13th is. Again, the education day, which I'm I'm kind of glad that they're back. You know, things are getting yeah. back to normal the way uh, it's, you know. It's my mom's taking be. her class to that. I mean, granted, I won't get to. Well, make I mean, that's how they make. Now. How they make future fans. Those, those uh, school trips a lot. Um, right. So let me get that straight. Wednesday is education day for the kids, and it's also senior day for the old people. That doesn't seem like I don't feel like those two groups are going to get along. Apple juice everywhere. <laughs> and isn't it also? Isn't it also Wine Wednesday? You damn right. But surely they're not yeah. having that at uh, eleven a.m. I went to an education day once, and they were serving beer. Wow. So the fourteenth. Well, it only. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jeremy. <laughs> I was going to say, it, even if they don't start serving it at 11, I mean, it's only an hour into the game till noon. So that'd be like, what, third inning? But it's five o'clock somewhere. So. Uh, nothing exactly. quite like getting bevved up at a day game. Day drinking is the best drinking. So the 14th will be. Texas Ranger Night and Lineman Appreciation Day. What do you mean, future Yankees night? <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go there. Oh man! But thank you. If you yeah. dress up in any Yankee attire, you get what a six dollar ticket. Yankee attire, huh? Exactly. <laughs> Wait, no. Did you mean to say you meant to say Rangers there, right? I know we're being uh, yeah. sarcastic, but we don't want people to actually show up in Yankee stuff. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. They're yeah, going to get a discounted. You really got to wear Rangers, but they'll be yes. Oh, yeah. Squeeze into that Mark Teixeira jersey that is that has not fit for a while now. Yeah, I'll I'll try. I'll go. Or I'll maybe go, an A Rod jersey. Do some cardio for like the next I don't know four days straight and get it to fit again. <laughs> so the fifteenth A Rod is Cartoon Mania yeah, sure. and Firework Night. Cartoon. We're also given a. Poster schedule away. And Again, Army National Guard game the next night. six days, you'll get it. Yep. It's Army National Guard night. Thank goodness we finally get an Army game. It's always damn Air Force. Pussies. And it's reading program night. I can say that. He can say it. He's Yeah, he's allowed. Yeah. So, the 16th. Was a Saturday, and this is one I'm, the one I'm kind of interested in because on the show before the show they actually talked about this. I didn't think they were going to talk about this promotional schedule because to me, it's a yeah. We could always do better. It's yeah. actually a road replica jersey giveaway, and it's backwards. A road night. jersey. Oh wait, wait, wait! I just yeah. stepped all over that. Say it again. Road replica jersey night. And it's backwards night. Backwards night. Oh, yeah. Do y'all know what's going on? Everybody dressed up like Chris oh. No. <laughs> Jennifer, go ahead. Backwards night. Well, I have to look at my phone and not at the screen. That's fine. We're not professionals. Well, I mean, I might. Take me out to the ball game in the middle of the third inning. The crawdad asking for your autograph. The home team in gray jerseys. Why not? It's backwards night after all. So, so, so it's we, opposite day. So we are actually going to start the game 
in the ninth inning. And they and go to the eighth. Right. So right. we're going to have Titan like me out to the ball game, the seventh inning stretch in the third inning. We cannot work the scoreboard for crap. So how are we going to go backwards? I'm just saying. It's going to be something to see. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Imagine for a minute you're bringing know, somebody. We're going to sing the national anthem at the end of the game. Okay, I was going to ask that. Imagine you're bringing somebody to their first ever baseball game that knows nothing about that sport, and then all this happens, and then you're like, okay, forget all that. That was all the opposite of how it usually is. That that that's so, just, that's we wild. should count our players' steps to the dugout. Yes, let's heckle the <laughs> shit out of our guys. Let's do it. Should we go ahead and hang? We'll bring the cowbells for the other team. Let's all sit at the top. We usually sit at the front row. Let's all sit way up at the top. Let's just hang the Ks up, like maybe 20 Ks up, and then once we get strikeouts, we'll just take them down. And that one down. That actually is a lot smarter of an idea. It's a smart idea because we don't want another person getting offended like that one time. If we take the Ks down. But when we get to the third K. Oh. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, three left. So that same thing. For that same switch, okay, one time, for those that don't know, one time we had three strikeouts, we put three Ks up. There was somebody that thought we were representing a hate group because we had three Ks, uh, gays, three Ks up. <laughs> and, and so they went on this big rant about how we were racist, and we tried to tell them, no, this is just a baseball symbol, and they weren't listening, and then they got escort, escorted out, and we had to pick the Ks down. For that to happen again, and I hope that woman comes to this game too, if that for that to happen again, we would have to get like seventeen strikeouts, which I am all here for. Yeah, I could go for that. I like I like that they're they're trying to do something wacky. Yeah, you, know, you hear about all these other teams doing that, and people love it. And now we're finally going to do something like that. I like it. That is some uh, Savannah Bananas type stuff. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's nowhere near it, but. They're trying. Hey, I, I'm I'm supporting them 100 percent on that one. At least they're trying. If if they commit to it, yeah, exactly. exactly do it. Just because it says it right here doesn't mean we're actually going to do, do it. it. So, and then Sunday yeah. is just a typical Sunday game. No big special thing. Is there any promotions? Um, that have been announced ahead of time for like you know May, June, July, or whatever Sunday. that we're seeing that we are really interested in because I've not looked yet. There's no Sunday game. No, there's not. No. Nope. Hmm. Who's WIL? Well, who is that? Wilmington Blue Rocks. Yeah. Sure. Um, back to your question, What's Ethan. Low no, they were, they were low A, and then, no. that's right. We just did. We, they they were yeah they were high, high a because actually. Chase went there. Oh yeah, a a a high A reminds yeah. me. Jeremy yeah. will be happy about this. The the uh, the leagues got their classic names back. Yes, I know, and I'm so excited about that because, I mean, high A East League. Yeah, that's boring. I mean. So, that sounds that sounds oh, like an adult it's Easter. Oh, that's a while. Right. Yeah. We we don't have a Sunday game because that Sunday's Easter. Well, not only that, but they I'll be in Bristol. If you look at the if you look at the schedule, there's like one two series that they broke up. Yeah. I think it's I think the first one is the uh, Winston series. You got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. Season starts on Friday, and then we yeah we got somebody else on Monday, and then we play Wilming or Wilming, then we play Winston again. The three days, the last three days before they break for the All Star. There's only one Monday game the entire year, and it's on the Fourth of July, and it's away. Yeah, hmm. I'm just happy we don't play. Back to back weeks again. Yeah. So, yeah that that was killer last year. We have back to back away. That's fine. That's yeah. More gym time. And 
don't go buy hot dogs when they've been away two series in a row because those are left over from the last home series. But um, going back to Ethan's question about promotional things, what is the one thing that I have bitched and complained about for three years now, Ethan? <laughs> what do I want? You're not looking at the oh 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 uh, ring? championship ring. Yes, I want one of those right too. Here. But it's not from the right year. It's from the first time that we won. The ones 2001? that we've already been handed out years ago. 2002? One? It was early 2000s. Yeah, I, think, I want to say 2005. No, we won oh, before that. I think it was 2001 or 2002. But, yeah, they're yeah, giving there those is. away. We won two in the early 2000s because we won – I remember thinking in 2017, because I was looking back at you know, league champions, and it was, I can't remember the exact years, but it was the Crawdads one, then the Tourist one, and then the Crawdads one again. Well, we won in 2015, Tourist won in 2016. So I was thinking, yeah, hey, 2017, here we go. Come on, let's repeat history. 2002 you know. and 2004. So 02, 04, and 15. I've, I've actually got is the replica. 2002. 2002. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe next year they're <laughs> going to do 2004 and then 2015 after that. I was four. They were the Pittsburgh Pirates then. They were, and they uh, it has a pirate logo on one side. I can wear my, my Pirates uh, jersey that night. No, so yeah, that'll be fun. But the only reason why they're doing it is because this is our 30th year. So we're celebrating 30 years of baseball here in Hickory, which is awesome. Yeah. I like the 30th anniversary 30th anniversary logo too. I hope they make some shirts and some hats yeah. to add on it. They do have a shirt. I love that. Hats they have a, like, I don't think two, they're gonna do. Well, a patch on the side of the regular hat would be cool, but I don't think they're gonna do that. It would. Well, they have a patch. The that they're selling. They have a patch that they're selling at the counter. I saw it the other okay. day, but I don't remember if it's the the new the thirty year logo or if it's just the logo. So, like, if it's the thirty year logo, yeah, I'll buy a hat and have it sewn on the side. They'll probably do that that way. You know, they can get more money that way. You know what that means? Okay, don't blame them. Every attendance figure this season will have thirty at the end of it. God, I hope not. That's what they did for 25. Dumb. That was so dumb. Well, it was, it was awesome only dumb. Hurt. It was only dumb for us regulars and season ticket holders that were there to hear it every single time. Somebody that's just, yeah. oh, what are we doing tonight? Oh, let's go to a game. They, they're, they're like, oh, what a coincidence. But it, but you know, if that was the 14th time you heard it that season, then you're like, okay, I, I get it. Uh, we're kayfabing these numbers here, aren't we? Yeah, there could have been five people in the ballpark, and they said, well, 25 people here tonight. And we were there on some of those nights. Yes. Especially early in the season when it was like 40 degrees. Yeah, and pouring rain, and we were there at 1 in the morning. That was in June, mm -hmm. though. But baseball is finally back. Yes. Thank God. I have – Yes. This – I don't know. This offseason has just – Took forever, it seems like. I well, because there was, was all that stuff about like the lockout and major league baseball, and then you're like, oh, is minor league baseball gonna do it too? And then they said they wouldn't. So, yeah. you know, we were afraid we were afraid for a little bit that there would be no baseball at all, major league wise, this year, up until only a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, we I would have been totally fine with baseball ending because then the last home run in history would have been hit by Freddie Freeman as a brave, and we could have all lived happily ever after. But no, and I don't want to talk about what that guy did. Yeah. Well, let's, let's just say happy belated Jerry. birthday to Austin Riley two days ago. Yeah, Riley. Yeah. 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 Friend, friend of the 108 section, you know, Golden Sombrero Award winner. Yeah. And, and wasn't there something that he did after that that where he kind of picked around with y'all? 
Something like that. That was years ago. He hit two home runs back to back. Yeah, did you know, doing right. I, I, I may not, I may not remember this right because yeah, you know, I don't sit over there. But didn't he after he hit one of them? Didn't he turn around and give y'all a look and then go around the bases? Or More like than that? likely, that's that's why he's our favorite. You know, because he played around with us. So super yeah. cool guy. That's what they all need to do when they're getting heckled. Just own it. Go with it. Pick around. Joke. Laugh about it. But, yeah, but the guy yeah. that batted after Austin Riley, <laughs> that guy didn't like us at all. <laughs> and I remember the rest of the series, we would only refer to him as the guy that bats after Austin Riley. Like if we were doing a count in the steps or whatever kind of gimmick we were doing over there, his name was just the guy that bats after Austin Riley. That's probably all he'll ever be remembered at or remembered at. He as. don't play anymore. Yeah. I looked him I, up a you know, that weeks guy ago. He doesn't play. I'm the resident Braves fan, and I don't remember, so who knows. Yeah. Well, hey, go ahead. Sorry. I was just about to say if anybody else has got anything. Yeah, I, I'm, oh. I'm, I mean, if there. we do another Zoom podcast, hopefully we'll have figured out how to do one. Well, there is one thing we haven't talked about that has to do with promotions. The three jersey giveaways. We talked about one of them. But for the first time this year, you can buy, you can reserve your three jersey giveaway or giveaway jerseys. For someone who's not a season ticket holder, it's uh, $60. But for that 60 you get all three jerseys, and you get a ticket to each game. Season ticket holders can reserve them for 30 because they're just getting the jerseys. We already got the ticket for the game. How, how do y'all feel about that? How do you feel about that, Jennifer? I, I don't want to... Remember, tickets are $10 at the gate and $9 if you reserve them. I, I think that's different than last year. Because I'm the only one of us that actually pays for tickets individually at games, so I think that's uh, that's different this year. Yeah, I think it used to. Be I think what, it's eight. total bullshit. <laughs> what is paying extra I agree. to get the jersey? Oh I yeah, as season on. ticket holders, for season ticket holders to pay an extra thirty dollars. Yeah, you want I mean, you don't think I'm smart enough to think. As season ticket holders, we go in 30 minutes early. Yeah. I'm going to get mine. So yeah. I'm not giving you 30 more dollars that I'm already giving you hundreds of dollars anyway. And also, yeah. like the whole spirit of a giveaway jersey is getting there early, yes. getting in line, being one of the first few ins, and hey, look, I got mine, and all that kind of and, and, then, and, and, and just being able to reserve it just kind of takes all the fun out of that whole experience. And then there's that word that's in the phrase, giveaway jersey. <laughs> well, I mean, if so that, gets rid, of, if that gets rid of Mr. You know, sits there and reads a magazine the whole game because he wants to get his giveaway jersey, then then he then then that's fine. He can pay and reserve his. But everybody else, show up and get yours. Because now yeah, I'm that a ten of damn jersey is not going to fit me anyway. Yeah, but they do, from what I understand, they do have three X's. I can fit in there now. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. Yeah. Keep up the good work, man. I'm trying. Uh, I think what else is there to talk about? Oh, well, um, let's bring up Chase real quick. Um, he's doing independent ball. Chase below, he for those who don't know. Pictured right behind Alan there. Um, he's with Lex. Oh, and right Lexington Alan. Legends. Yeah. How awesome would it be to be a fan in Lexington? Because that team is sharing the stadium with another, another independent team. league team. So when the Legends are on the road, no. the other team is at at the stadium. So you have 170 games. Home games. 
So they're going to start and, calling that uh, Meadowlands West. And I can't – it's the Genos. Genome. The Genomes is the team with Chase plays for. Um, Our what do you think about this? Think. A little ban uh, discussion. Whenever – after nine innings, the game is tied. Do you know how they go about their tiebreaker? In the independent league that we're talking about. Yeah. Home okay, run the independent league. And uh, in hockey and in soccer, you have shootouts where it's one on one with a kicker or puck and a goalie. Or so in baseball, one run pitch. Derby. What and, and, and now the easy answer here is home run derby. So I'm going to try to come up with something crazier, and and we'll see if it's right. One pitch, or you know, no, no, not even one pitch. You, you both teams send up their best hitter, and they get to smack the shit out of a ball off a tee. And whichever one lands what? farthest away is the winner. I like that. <laughs> I kind of like that. But that's not it, is it? No. Okay. Go no, ahead. It is a home run derby. I don't know the rules on how many pitches and blah, blah, blah. But it's a home run derby. And I think they're going to do that in the All-Star game this year. Yeah. Or something like I've heard in Major League Baseball. Look, I heard that. Oh, and this year we're having a pitch clock in Hickory. Oh, by the way, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this may be the I only guess year we, we can't have get it. all the good thing. I mean, we got rid of the extra innings nonsense with the second base and all that, but I, we nope. didn't. No, Major League did. Major League nope. got rid of it. Nope, they they did yeah, it, for a I second. Got feeling. What? But Wait. it came back. Well, it came. Kind of. I kind of understand why they brought it back. They brought it back for this season only. Starting next season, it's gone. They brought it back. They brought it back this year because they had such a short spring training. They don't. They didn't have the opportunity to physically get to where they normally are on opening day. So they did that in hopes of saving injuries if there's tie ball games early in the season. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that makes home run derby will solve that. Sure. Because you go to the ballpark to see a home run. Yeah. I mean. No, we go to see 15 I go, innings. I go, to, I go to see a good game, whether it's with home runs or True. small ball. True. But, yeah, to see, but to see a home run derby, that's that's so much fun to watch. Yeah. I've been going to $7 beer. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Do you watch I, I'm, a, I'm also excited about having nine inning double headers again. Yeah. Instead of seven. I mean, I get why they tried the seven, but it's it's not two full games. And, you know, you get a pitcher who throws a no-hitter in a seven-inning game, and then you got this BS of, oh, well, we'll we'll put that in the record book, but it'll be a separate thing. No, he either threw a no-hitter or he didn't. That's kind of like saying that. comes to mind. He had a, he had yeah. a no-hitter in one of those seven-inning games. They didn't credit it. They didn't give it to him. Yep. That that was the that was the length of the game, and he didn't have any yeah. hits. That is a no hitter. Well, it's like when uh, Roger Maris hit sixty one home runs. They they were trying to say, oh well, well it's a longer season now, and he did it in more games than Babe Ruth did it. He has no control over how long the season is. Yeah. Either you keeping records for the season, or you're not. Yeah, same thing with the Patriots in 2007. And they're like, well, well, they weren't perfect in the Dolphins. Why would the Dolphins play the last game? Okay. Well, it's not yeah. like they had a choice in that matter. Exactly. Yeah. Ridiculous. Anyway, now that I'm starting to bring up the Dolphins and, and all this kind, which means we've run out of things to talk about. So would anybody like to come up with some fun way to close us out? Well, it's not a fun way, but let's go ahead and again apologize. If this sounds like crap, looks like crap, hopefully we can get it dialed in and hopefully we can get back to in, you know, being side by side doing it one one camera and all that good stuff. All right. Well, I actually I have a fun, fun. way. To, Jennifer, what? I think this is fun. I have a fun way to end it's a special way to end it since we're on Zoom. I and it's another game. Nobody won the one star game, so we'll do this game. Who can correctly guess 
the amount of empty soda cans I have at my workspace. In Lucas's room? <laughs> no. So this is where I do a lot of my college work that is not in the classroom, homework, classes that are online and stuff like that. How many empty soda cans are currently on the desk where my laptop is sitting? So, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Did we just become seven. friends? You two said seven. <laughs> Jeremy? I have 12. 12. Okay. So boom. One. Sun drop. Two. That's a Mountain Dew. Three. That's a Mountain Dew. Four. That's Did a Dr. Pepper. Five. That's a Sprite. Six. That's another Sprite. Seven. Trifecta of the Sprites. And to close it out, eight with a Dr. Pepper. We won. Y'all were closer. That's now y'all right. have to fight to the death to see who actually won. And you guys know what your prize you is? Fight to the death. You guys know what your prize is? The One closest those. food item that is near me in this pantry, which is some mayonnaise. Goats, baby! Woo! <laughs> Thank you for she playing like empty soda can whatever. <laughs> So that was the Dirty Balls podcast. Uh, Dukes, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, Sun Drop, and Sprite are not sponsors. Uh, hopefully, Bold Rock will be someday. Still hit us up. We're waiting. Uh, if anybody else doesn't have anything to say, I will say thank you for watching. And see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Now you got to hit stop right. recording. I can figure it Still out. Recording. Still recording. That, oh, that wasn't it. Where is it at? Oh, this is awkward. It's oh, close up on the beard. <laughs> this is all staying in. This is we're keeping Wait. all this. Stop. Did it? No. Well, go to more. Okay, more. we'll just keep looking at stuff in my pantry here. We got some evaporated milk. Um, Stop. Steelers hat. Stop recording. <laughs>